Hey folks, this is Mustafa Ercan from Radar. In this video, I will try to explain how you can use our content pool feature to store your content. But before that, if it's your first time at here, please don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel so you can get notified when we publish new product training video. So, if you are ready, let's jump over the dashboard and check the all detail about content pool feature. To reach the content pool, you should navigate to publishing 4.0 first, then switch the uh, content pool. And when you reach here, you can uh, click the new content to create a new content. And you should select a type for your content, like image, video, gallery, link, text, story and rail. Then you can upload your medium directly from your device or from uh, cloud storage services like Google Drive, Dropbox, etc. Or you can search a free stock uh, image via Unsplash, Pexels, Pixabay, um, yeah. And or you can design your visual by using Canva, Vistacrate or Adobe Express. Right now I will use stock library and I will search for clouds over the Unsplash. I will choose this uh, image, but before adding it to my content, I will make some editings and I will crop it to square. Then click the save button to upload into my content. Then you can prepare your title and uh, caption. And let's say and you can always uh, follow the character limits for platforms uh, via here and if you need to make some caption variations for specific uh, platform you can enable the caption variations for example let's say we will create another title and caption for Twitter it means when your uh, content published, it will publish with default uh, title and caption over the all platforms, but it will be published with this custom title and caption just for uh, Twitter. And you can add uh, comments by using uh, chain comments feature, like first comments to your content. Also, you can tag a user or add a location. And if you like, you can take benefit of advanced settings to assign this content one of uh, to uh, your teammates or uh, mark this uh, content with a label or more. And when you feel ready, you can click the draft button to save it as a draft or you can click the approve button to save it as uh, approved. Right now I'm clicking the save as a draft button and as you can see your content is created and you can click the view button to check it again. And when you, you are editing your content you can preview this content uh, for uh, social media platforms like on Vimeo or LinkedIn or Facebook etc. Also you can calculate your content store a uh, score and also you can discuss with your teammates about this uh, content like something like this. And uh, if you like uh, you can mark this content uh, quickly as a draft or as approved or as published by using the actions uh, button or you can click the edit button to make some changes or you can click the delete button to mark these contents uh, as a deleted you can simply click the delete button but if you want to delete this content permanently from our database you can click the delete permanently uh, button when you create several content over the content pool, you can uh, easily use the search bar to find your uh, related content. 
you can simply search for specific keywords or you can filter this content according to labels or its type like image or its status and you can always easily clear all these search options by clicking to clear all filters and search options button and if you like you can mark some of these content as favorite by clicking to add to favorites uh, button and then you can filter your favorite content by clicking to favorite step and you can easily remove uh, one of these contents uh, from favorites by clicking to remove from favorites. And when you want to publish one of these content, you can easily click the publish now button. And you can uh, schedule these uh, content for now or uh, for future dates. And you can select the um, channels which you want to publish this content. And you can still make some changes. Uh, it will not affect your original uh, content. And then you can easily click the publish now button to start the process. And the one, uh, a copy of this content will be created on scheduler as a post. And when you click the view button, you can track the process. As you can see, it's uh, right now in progress. And you can use this content pool feature with uh, other features. For example, uh, you can use with discover feature. Let's say you find an uh, interesting content over here and uh, you can simply click the publish now button for that content then you can switch the uh, content pool tab and you can make still you can still make some changes for title and other things and for example uh, i'm choosing the blog post label for this content and clicking the save as approved button it means you can easily uh, add some content uh, from discover feature uh, into your content pool. And also you can use this uh, feature with uh, publish with radar chrome extension. For example, you find an uh, interesting content over the web's web you can simply click the right click on it and you can choose the publish with radar and publish now button and publish with radar chrome extension will appear and you can make some changes for title or caption and you can choose a label for it and then again you can click the approve button to save this content to your content pool Yes, as you can see, it's created uh, on your content pool. Also, you can create a smart post over the scheduler feature. L let me show you. And uh, you can select um, uh, recurring uh, settings like Monday, Wednesday, Friday and 1 p.m. let's say. And select the related channels then you can select the content pool as a source for this smart post and you can select the just approved content order by to uh, old to new and all contents and just uh, content label uh, market with uh, blog post label and only uh, publish only once and publish automatically and when you enable the smart post, this smart post will check your content pool for that uh, time. And if it finds an content, it will automatically publish on your selected social media profiles. Yeah, that's all about uh, content pool feature. But please don't forget that you can use this feature together with our scheduler smart post content sources, incoming webhooks 
and uh, publish with Radar Chrome extension to get all benefits of it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed with this video and I hope you can take benefits of this feature. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye bye.